I'm grateful, yet I'm grieving. I'm grateful for those who opposed and abstain from this uh, selfish legislation, but I'm grieving for the young man who sponsored it. Financially, he's irresponsible. He's about to lose the breadwinner and his family. I grieve for him. I'm grateful to my council person, Mr. Glover. He uh, at least took my call, but he didn't take my counsel. He voted to support this. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful that he took my call, but I'm grieving that he voted the wrong way. I am grieving for the voters of Baltimore who are loving, who are forgiving, and forgetful. They will vote the same people in in 2024 and will be in the same situation. Our mayor, young man, there's no benefit to him politically or otherwise to support it. He should veto it if he's strong. But if he's weak, he'll go along to get along. You know, Pastor Smith, this measure came in response to question K. Uh, that established the term limits there. More than 70% of Baltimore voters uh, voted in favor of that. What message does that send to, to those who are working inside City Hall? Number one, your voters are not happy with you. You've done nothing for the city in crisis. Crime is up, education is down, and we're suffering economically. You've done nothing. We're not going to give you a career path. We're not going to give you a career. This is a part-time job. You shouldn't get a lifetime pension. That was the purpose of Question K. They preempted it. How selfish. They ought to pay for it. And this you know, should be the end of their political career. 